Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you guys read in the title, today I'm going to be packing an order. I did get an order over on our Shopify for our sublimation blanks and we were almost sold out of those sublimation blanks and I don't think we're gonna get any more sublimation blank t-shirts in anytime soon, maybe in the future we will, but right now we are just going to go ahead and sell out of those sublimation t-shirt blanks and then hopefully one day we will be able to sell different blanks, probably not t-shirt blanks, it'll probably be other sublimation items. That's way into the future and um, I just like to dream and plan all these things out. But it's been a few days since I recorded our last video so I did want to go ahead and make another one and kind of update you guys on what we're doing. Also, we did get a new stove. If you guys watched our house tour video, you guys knew that our oven was actually going out. So we are renting here and when we got moved in, we decided we would cook something in the oven and it took like an hour and a half to heat up. So we did have the landlord bring us a new one. So I'm super excited about that. And we also got a new fish tank. So I did want to show you guys our new fish that we got. And then also the tank that Rob put up. So yeah, it's going to be a random vlog of a bunch of random things that we're doing. If you guys enjoy this type of video, be sure to give us a big thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, The Wesleys. And then we also have a second channel called DIY for Dummies. If you guys want to see more DIY videos from us, be sure to subscribe to that one and this one. And let's get into this video. This morning I did work on some more Etsy designs or sublimation PNGs. So if you guys are interested in new designs, be sure to go check out the link in the description. Right now I have our store on a 50% off sale. No code or purchase requirement on that sale. If you guys are needing some new sublimation designs, check out our link in the description. And was there anything else I was gonna tell you guys? Um, today we are gonna go to Dollar Tree, also Hobby Lobby because we did get a custom order um, locally. And then I do wanna go back to Five Below. You guys seem to really like the Five Below and Dollar Tree sublimation videos. So I told Rob that I definitely need to go and find more items to sublimate for you guys. Right now I have to go get the sublimation blanks and get that order ready to pack and print the shipping label. I don't know if you guys can hear Romeo barking. He's ready to come back in. So I'm gonna go bring our dog in and then I will be right back onto this vlog. So last night I got an order for sublimation blanks at about 10 p.m. last night and she ordered five small, five medium, five large. So I have to quickly go find those and then I will take them upstairs and weigh them on my scale. If you're the person that ordered these sublimation blanks, thank you so much for ordering. We really appreciate you guys supporting our channel for supporting our little shop and our business. Shout out to you for ordering from us. I think her name was Veronica, but yes. Thank you very much. So I'm gonna grab these, take them up to the scale, weigh them, and then take them to the post office. Let me go do that, and we will go to the post office very soon. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. And since one of these bags is empty that we've ordered our sublimation blanks in, I will be using this bag right here to put all of her t-shirts in and then we'll fit nicely in here and then I'll tape it up. I will be shipping it priority mail so it should fit nicely in one of the priority mailbox. Um, I'm just going to get that from the post office. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put all of her t-shirts in this bag after I check them. She always goes and hugs Paris when she gets off the bus first. Huh? You have a new friend? What's your new friend's name? Braylon. Braylon? Oh, cool. So Selena just got off the bus, so I have to say hi to her and see what kind of project she did today. You have something to show me? Okay, what'd you learn? What is this? You learned to do math I mean, addition. I made a puzzle. You made a puzzle? Yeah. You want to see how I made it? Yeah. Did you have a good day at school? Mm-hmm. Tomorrow's your 100 day at school, and you want me to make a shirt for you? Yes, a 100 shirt because it's tomorrow. 100 days of school. Okay. And she told us we had to dress like a grandma, but I don't want to. A grandma? Oh, because it's 100 days? Yeah, but we don't want to. 
Do I have to? You don't want to dress like a grandma? No, nope. no. Nope. I'm not dressing like a grandma. Why not? That'll be fun. Nope. You can nope. wear your glasses and maybe nope. we can um, she make She said we have to spray our hair white. Did she really? We'll have to see if daddy can help you make you look old. And actually we had to put pat powder in our hair, actually. Powder in your hair? Yes. Like baby powder maybe? Yes, Kelly. Guess what we got? What? We got a brand new stove. A brand new oven, I mean. There's our new oven. Is that new? That's a brand new oven. Where did you just get it? They just brought it today. It's super nice, I'm excited. Now we can actually cook your favorite pizza. Oh, DiGiorno pizza, it Wait, actually fits in the oven now. Wanna... We've been making all of our food in that tiny little oven right there, and the big DiGiorno pizzas will not fit in this one, so we're really excited to have this new oven. Just because it's easier to make casseroles, obviously pizza and other things fit better in this oven. So super happy that we got our new oven in and we don't have to use that tiny little oven over there. So yay. All right guys, so I went ahead and finished the custom order that we had to do earlier. And now it is 6.29 at night and Selena's 100 days of school is tomorrow. So we went ahead and designed this shirt right here for her. And it just says, pop in my way through 100 days of school. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this printed off. Like I said, it's already 6.30 and I have to get her ready for bed soon. Select my PNG, click file, print. And I'm just gonna be printing this on an eight and a half by 11 paper, um, eight and a half by 11 sublimation paper. Epson ET15000, default settings, copies one, pages all. Paper size is gonna be eight and a half by 11. It is a small toddler shirt, so eight and a half by 11 will be perfect. Portrait, preview, media quality, best. Layout is going to be flipped horizontally. Paper handling, scale to fit paper size. And we don't have to do these three. So I'm gonna go back to preview and it's ready to print. So I need to go make sure I have paper in the printer. And here's my eight and a half by 11 A sub sublimation paper. And you just want that white print to be, or that A sub print to be up when it goes into the tray and white side down. And this ET15000 automatically sets to the paper size that you load, it's eight and a half by 11, perfect. And while I am down here, I wanted to show you guys the shirts that we finished up for the customer I told you was local. It just says, I am powerful, unstoppable, blessed, and fearless. And she just ordered one, two, three, and then the fourth one over here that you guys saw on the table. So I just have to pack those up and get them sent out. And the sublimation paper is loaded, so let's go back upstairs and print this off. All right, and it is loaded and ready to print. Rob's over here getting this order ready to deliver. There's Rob in the video. Hi. Okay. He's tired. <laughs> there is the sublimation print all ready to go. After I pressed those shirts, I accidentally turned off the press. I don't know why. So I'm having to re preheat the press. And once it gets to 380 degrees, I will go ahead and press her shirt. Hello guys. Can you tell them what we're doing tonight? I'm gonna wanna have a 100 day tomorrow. 100 days of what? For our um, party. For your school? Yeah. She's having a 100 days of school. And we get to pick any game. We get, we get to do whatever we want now. So we're gonna go ahead and press this onto her oh, shirt. Oh, oh, oh. And we did pick up, you wanna go get your shirt and show them? Yes. Yeah. gonna show you guys what shirt that we got and what shirt we are sublimating. Mm -hmm. And this is just mm -hmm. a cricket mm -hmm. shirt from Hobby Lobby. So yeah, this is a cricket shirt from Hobby Lobby. I think it was $5.99. Normally we would just order this shirt in online. This was kind of a last minute thing for me. Um, I just went ahead and picked this up at Hobby Lobby. And these shirts are really great to sublimate on if you're sublimating a toddler shirt. They also have adult shirts at Hobby Lobby. They are 95% polyester, so they are perfect for sublimating. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, stop chatting, and um, go ahead and press this shirt. And like always, I am gonna put a piece of butcher paper inside of the shirt before we press it, and then I will show you guys what it turns out like. One for down here, another one, and Santa's actually my camera lady right now. 
And then we're gonna get a skinny one for inside the shirt. You guys can get this roll of butcher paper from Sam's Club. Also, we'll link some from Amazon in the description. Okay, and I'm just gonna take another piece of paper inside the shirt. That one, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. Piece of butcher paper in here so it doesn't bleed through the back. So you don't have any um, spots on your paper or on your shirt. You want to cut all the way around your image. And a lot of people will just tear it, but I like to just cut it off just to be specific, I guess. I don't know. And I'm just going to take this print, flip it upside down. Thank you for helping me record. You're welcome. You did a really good job recording. Mm -hmm. Excited to see how your shirt came out. Yes. <laughs> All right, did you hear the timer go off? Yeah. We pressed at 380 degrees and the timer just went off for 50 seconds and we're ready to check it out. Oh, this is going to be so exciting. One, two, three. Mm. What do you say, holy smokes? Yes. Do you love it? Yeah. Is it awesome? You love it? So this is what it looks like. The colors came out super nice. So definitely recommend the t-shirts from Hobby Lobby. They are 95% polyester and they sublimate super nice. Can you say thank you, Mama? Thank you. Can you say thank you for watching our video? Thank you for watching our video. Bonza, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. I'm going to post out more videos next week. Yes, her YouTube channel will be down in the description if you guys want to subscribe to her. It is Selena's World on YouTube. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> All right, so we are about to get ready for bed, guys. And I just wanted to show you guys how this came out. Ooh, Got all of our orders yeah. sent out. Ooh. And yeah. Hope you guys have a good day. Guys, and we're coming to the end of the video, but I wanted to show you guys our fish tank that Rob put together. Rob has actually had this fish tank for a really long time but we finally got it put up in here. He added some rocks and then obviously some plants that you guys can see. We're actually waiting on the water to get bright. Um, Rob knows how to do all that with getting the water right for fish. So we're waiting on that to get all ready and conditioned or whatever it is that the water does. And then we will add the fish and I'm gonna take you guys into Selena's room and show you guys the fish that we already got to put in this tank. And we're planning on adding more fish, but I wanna show you guys the ones that we got so far. She's excited about her shirt. Huh. <laughs> All right guys, I'm gonna take you to Selena's room, show you the fish, and I will close out the video. Here are the angel fish. I actually picked out the black ones, and I just thought they were really, really pretty. And then Rob picked out that spotted one over there, and then this one that's also kind of spotted in orange. And then we also picked up the white ones. Those are just some little tetras that we added in there. We actually had a few more, but for some reason they did not make it. Not really sure why, but yeah, I think there's only one in there left. And then there is Selena's betta fish. Her other betta fish did not make it. He got really sick and did not make it. So we did go ahead and pick out this one right here. You guys can see how pretty hers is. But I actually picked that one out and then Rob picked it out too after I walked away. And so we decided to go ahead and grab that one. She doesn't know the name of him yet. Her last fish's name was what? Poodles? Poodles. Yes, poodles. And we haven't really named these fish, but yeah. And the angel fish are the only ones that are gonna go in that tank. Selena's gonna keep that betta fish in here and then probably add some other ones to this side. But I really thought this tank was really cool. It is a split tank and it just overflows into this one. And it has a bamboo lid. And guys, look. It has a touch button, huh? Yes, you can just touch it. Tap it. Very cool. Just kind of moved my desk. My desk is now over here and the fish tank is on this wall. I think it looks really nice right there. I'm sure we'll have other videos on this fish tank as Rob adds different fish and just makes it nicer in there. Bye bye guys. I'm gonna see you like a few more weeks. 
Before. You mean a couple days? Yeah, a couple days. But yeah, we are ready to get ready for bed, right? You ready I'm for bed? Tired. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of like a vlog and kind of a business vlog and then also just a family vlog, kind of. Bye guys, see you later. Peace out. Bye guys. There's Rob over there, guys. <laughs>